We can serve others. Overcome. Achieve our goals. Work, Work together. together. Achieve greatness. Pray together. Win state. Be great. Help others. Succeed. Be leaders. Be number one. Follow the AHA way. The Sisters of St. Joseph used the word posimus to mean we can do anything that any person is capable of doing. And that's the same message we want the students from Holy Angels to leave here with. They can be anything they want to be. It's a fantastic feeling to walk into the school every day. I love it. Seeing our students in action, how they care about each other, their studies, their teachers. The faculty are first rate and just wonderful people to work with. All are part of a warm, caring, and vibrant community. I love Holy Angels, I really do. I just, I think it's really good to challenge yourself in school, and Holy Angels definitely forces you to do that. Tradition at Holy Angels is really try to be in as many things as you can, do as much as you can, and excel at as much as you can. The students bring such life to this building, and the teachers that I have worked with for so many years, many of us have been here, through my tenure and beyond, offer such a richness to the community, but informing relationships, maintaining relationships. Students invite teachers to their weddings 10 years after they graduate. When I was a student here, I was a part of a community, and I've been fortunate to have two of my sons now graduate from Holy Angels, and they would use the word community to describe being here. Our students are great people. They're giving and funny and are growing up and have all the foibles the teenagers do and it is a wonderful experience working with them through all of those things. When I went to Holy Angels it was all girls back in the 1970s. In 1972 I believe it went co-ed and today I think in a lot of ways it still is the same institution even though it is co-ed. The culture of the school has not changed. Uh, it's a warm atmosphere, it's a welcoming atmosphere, kids feel safe here. Uh, it's a very uh, solid learning environment, it's a comfortable place and I will tell you my kids and my experience and I believe others that I've watched here enjoy going to school here. Well from our very beginnings, the Sisters of St. Joseph have always had the motto of striving for excellence and we know that the Academy of Holy Angels is an institution that carries out that part of our mission and that part of our desire so that when students leave here they have received an excellent education and are prepared to do excellence as they move forward. The faculty and staff at Holy Angels work to prepare the students with knowledge and skills, not just facts. Students can get facts anywhere, but to develop skills that they'll need in the workforce, in college, beyond the workforce, in their daily lives, is really what we're after. They really put a premium on academic excellence, and you know, all my classmates were done having success, and it really made me want to achieve greatness in the classroom as well. I've had four children graduate from Holy Angels, and all of them have been well prepared for that next stage of their life, holistically well prepared academically, spiritually, and otherwise, and have made the transition to college very, very well. Here at Holy Angels, we're required to do a certain amount of service every year, but a lot of students like to go beyond that. We have service lettering opportunities where if you do 48 plus hours, you're able to letter in service. I'm involved in campus ministry team, which does additional service outside of school. The sisters built this building in 1931, at the height of the Depression and to the society around them, it was a very foolish thing to do. But the sisters believed in their philosophy that we can do it. And today, we're starting a capital campaign to believe we can do it once again. We can raise money to improve the facilities here, to continue to sustain the tremendous academics the wonderful faculty we have in administration. In order to maintain our 80-year-old building, there are several items that need to be addressed, including our renovating our kitchen, repairing and replacing our roof, and working on classrooms, both the ones that are currently in existence that need refurbishing, and in installing some new classrooms in the Convocation Center building. The school also needs to update and continue to maintain its technology as a leader with our Project Laptop program. 
We need to make physical improvements, changes now, so that we can move to the next phase of our, our growth here. The building is what sits in the hearts and souls of people remembering their experience at Holy Angels. And so it is an asset that we not only have to maintain, but we have to continually improve for the benefit of the existing students and the future generations that were to come after us. We are committed to providing continuous education and training for our faculty and staff, but we are also committed to doing our part to retain faculty and staff through compensation, benefits, etc. I think it's really important um, for us to support the endowment. The endowment is something that is going to keep the school going through the future generations, and it's important to have that so we have the assurance that it will always be here. Look in the hallways and the classrooms and the playing fields. Watch what the students are doing and how they're interacting with the adults in their lives. And if you take time to look at the records of our alumni, they're out being leaders in our community and in our world. This is worth the investment. I can only imagine in five years, um, you know, how many more beautiful things the school will be able to accomplish academically, athletically. Um, you know, the sky's the limit for such a great institution. We need to seize the opportunity today to go forward and make this a better institution and maintain the level of excellence that we have worked so hard over the past few years as evidenced by our graduates. I think the question that needs to be asked is, if not us, who? We are the beneficiaries of the Holy Angels experience and we need to give back to others what we were so fortunate to receive. The more that help, the less work each individual has to do. We need to join in this. We're connected together as part of the Holy Angels community, and we need to own this so that it can continue on as we hope it will. We can excel, form a community in Christ, Help others. Strive for excellence. Be the best we can be. Serve others. Make, Make a, a difference. difference.